200 episodes and a little bit of mining, probably around two hours, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, I've smelt it's smelly iron from it, and then I've just been mining now. Okay, this is what I've got from the first lot, and then this is this one. As you can see, we've got um, a lot of stuff. Okay, well, I'm aiming for a chocolate box. No, for a chocolate box. A stack of diamond blocks in this episode, and uh, it depends how lucky we get the di with the diamond ore because we're on nine diamonds, you just over a stack. And but the other things, I'm pretty proud of them. Not that though, that was terrible. I can't believe we did so bad with those lapis. As well as we have actually got quite like barely any lapis. So I think that I'm gonna make one of the massive, uh, massive pillar and then just mine the whole thing down. And, and I'm probably gonna do it in um, a time lapse. Okay, we're just back, back at the base. I mean, I uh, forgot about the tool box. Is this it? Uh, yeah, here it is. Um, yeah, let's get this out. Um, yeah, look at that 16 blocks of diamonds. We're almost overtaking what we've currently got. F five, like, almost 5,000 redstone blocks. Now we just fly for days with them on coal. And well, we've got loads of coal and iron. We don't even need an iron bomb now. Uh, yeah, I'm glad that didn't work now. We've got enough we've got iron for days now. Um, and yeah, we could all eventually sell all this stuff. Obviously, not the diamonds. One diamond one diamond. But, What's this thing? Where's this come from? What? Where did this weird pickling thing come from? Um, wait, I've got to try and communicate with it. I uh, think if I just get some paper and rename it, and I'm gonna have to craft an anvil. Um, I might have to ask in a minute. Do anyone have an anvil? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna ask it what his name is because um. Yeah, I mean, it looks like he stole his, he stole my gold. Wondered where all that went. So I'm just gonna go grab some sugar cane, get a piece of paper, and then just write on it one like, what's his name? Because I don't know this person's name, whoever it is. Okay, here we go. Got that three bits of sugar cane. Got three, got a bit of paper. And now I'm gonna go over and crack an anvil because um, I don't know where mine went. I think it broke. And all these guys turned into zombie villagers, by the way. But have we got any iron in here? There's one of my own busting boxes. Uh, okay, I'll have to search all these to find some iron. Yeah, they're all down there. I just put that's where they all ended up going in the end. A bit of iron in there. Yeah, I'm just going to be searching through all my chests. Find, trying to find a bit of iron to make. And I've okay, I just have to use somebody else's anvil. But so here is my question. I'm guessing I'm going to throw it into here. Oh, can't answer. 
um, Alan, okay, so this guy's name is Alan, okay, so, hi mate, um, he's got, so that's where my Danny Golden Apple went, right? okay, so that's where that went, and it's not my half as well, right, um, and, and what's this, is this one of the people in Brute Heads, I think it is, yeah, you know, I think we just say it when we want, hopefully you didn't you know, shoot us off or anything, but yeah, this is his name, Alan, so you could put a sign here, maybe, saying his name. Uh, I'm just gonna search up my chest monster to see if there's any in here. Uh, yeah, so, sign here. Uh, that's correct the map, but I don't need that. Oh, zombie villagers. Uh, anything in here? No, sign, there we go, sign, yeah. Okay, bop down here. Then we're gonna go to the ridge. Here we go, we've got the sign. Um, so here we go, Alan the Piglin. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go over and, uh, yeah, I'm going to ask him another question in a minute, I'm just going to have to rename another piece of paper, um, to see if he has any more friends about it, like, you know, if there's anyone else like this, you know, any of these robots, uh, anywhere else in the world, um, so I'm just going to, I'm um, asking that in a minute once I use that other person's handle again. So I've just uh, got myself a question and I'm gonna ask him are there any more of you? There we go. Oh, um, yeah, a parrot. Um, I'm gonna go and grab another piece of paper and ask him, uh, like, who this parrot is. Okay, I've written this, are you friends with him? Just threw that down there. Oh, got a response. He's my enemy. Wonder why? Let's ask him. You've got a piece of paper, it says, what did he do? Okay, let's throw it in. Here we go. The parrots must end. What? The parrots must end. And um, that isn't really an answer, but I suppose we'll accept it. I mean, he's bringing me to the question, so I think we'll just leave him to it and pull these up here and make some sort of chess system with all these answers and things. I hope they don't charge more for all these answers. Yeah, no, well, because none of these are pieces, so I didn't ask for gold. I'll probably do that in the future. But what's it for the parrots from the end? Um, well, I did hear a parrot. Over the um, radium of the base, um, I think we best leave a sign there. Okay, gonna get out my stone bricks, and we're gonna. Well, if I've not got a sign, oh, there we go, I've got a sign of mine. Um, we are going. So yeah, basically, uh, we're gonna go and meet the parrot person. I bet they can't talk like a robot. Whoever this parrot person is. Okay, here we are, and then I just, and then I'm gonna, pull the way to some parrot. Okay, here we go, the signs, yeah, I've got the signs out. Uh, so, here we go, we're at the base, and where's this parrot, let's try and find it, shall we? Oh, it's down here maybe, yeah, does it like it? There it is, the parrot. King of vault -Tec. I don't know what to do with this parrot. Yeah, we'll bury him. Yeah, bury him. Pie parrots. The parrots must end. There we go. That's a big good prank because he won't actually... Um, he, he won't actually... Wait, actually we need to bury it deeper. Because otherwise... Wait, is there anything under here? Now we just need, just, just so we can't hear the sound, that's all. There we go. He's falling down now. Uh, there we go. He should be out here from here. It's like he's dead. There we go. The parrots must end. And then, you know, we're going to take out the torches as well, just for... Um, you know, just, just, just to make it look like he's actually been abandoned. Where did this guy come from? How did he get out? Little bird, wait, I can get on my shoulder. Yes, yeah. What's that? 
Oh, I must have copied a question to take this around. Oh, I hate when parrots do that. Stupid parrot, what's wrong with you? Get on my shoulder. Stupid parrot, get on my shoulder. There we go. Now, you just uh, get off my shoulder. Don't get back on it. Oh, wait. I'm so. Oh, you got back on my shoulder. Stupid parrot. Go on, get off my shoulder, parrot. I said, get off my shoulder, you stupid parrot. Just get get off my shoulder. How many times do you have to say you stupid parrot? Get off my shoulder. Ah, there we go. Wait. Where is that? Yeah, there he is. Okay, ho hopefully he doesn't like, you know, jump back on my shoulder or anything. Yeah, yeah, that's better. There we go. Um, I don't think he's a... Yeah, don't, don't think he's on my shoulder. I don't think he's down here. But yeah, there we go. Where's him? I see where he is. Yeah, where's the stupid parrot? Still down here? Yeah, the parrot will be fine. Yeah, the parrot will be fine. No matter where it is, he's not dead. The parrot will be fine. Uh, there we go, so I'm going to go and uh, head back to the base. Okay, here we are, going back to my base, and I run out of fireworks. And I don't know if anybody ever knows about this, but this is the old trick that you used to do when you run out of fireworks, or before fireworks were introduced to um, things like this. You just do this. You'd fire a bow, punch two one, then it fires you upwards. I mean, it's a great way, if you ask me. And all I've got to do, I've been practicing that a little bit, and I've got to try and get to my base. Um, is it over here? It might be a thing. Okay, um, okay. I thought I'd fail that a little bit now. <laughs> but there we go. Yeah, it kind of helps go in third person just see what it looks like. Yeah, this looks like my island, it's nice and flat. Unless I've just gone somewhere completely, yeah, I have. I should have just gone to spawn. I just not even, like, even just. Take the leather. Okay. Um, that's not that bad now. Oh, the bow thing. Okay, where are all these arrows going? It's also killing my bow as well. And I think I should just get a bow for Elytra, like the Elytra bow. I know it's like, I don't think anybody uses this method anymore. But I might. Okay, yep, here's my island. Let's try and get up a bit. Can I just a little bit longer? There we go. Yeah, we've got loads of room here. Okay, so I'm gonna go on land. And so uh, we took care of the power. Okay, I think we might actually need gunpowder here. Because I don't think I can bomb my way up there. Yeah, I should have just built the whole way here, shouldn't I? Yeah. Okay, I almost found this thing. It's a good job I didn't throw all these papers away. I need them after my fireworks. So I just gotta find a creeper in here. Hopefully I should eventually find one. Uh, just have to, gonna have to keep searching the area. Why is it going to be in here? This, this is the lightest place ever. But yeah, this is one of the places I was mining. And um, with our mining challenge, which I still got to talk about. It's not me, by the way. It's just over there. And uh, just need to go, go and grab some like, gunpowder, and then I'll be out of this thing, and then we'll get to some balls catch as well. So here we are, I've built the cactus farm. Yeah, I forgot to press record unfortunately. It's just over here. It's, see, it's the smallest thing ever. All you need is cactus and extra glass paint. You can try this in creative and put on like 4000 tick speed. Because if you put on 4000 tick speed, then these things are like, it'll just be like, like um, it's basically the cactus spits out faster than a dropper with 4000 tick speed. But we've only got five cactus from it. I don't know why that is, that, to be honest. I think like an hour or two AFK here. But I think I know the reason. What we need to do guys, is make the farm a lot taller or a lot wider. And I'd say possibly in the next episode. Oh, there we go. See, oh, we just got it then. I think, did I miss that? I'm not sure if I missed that or not. But yeah, you can see it just grows then pops off like that. So then, yeah, that we've got just got another piece of cactus. So what we'd have to do to get this thing to work a lot better is step this farm up big time. Like, probably go into like 100 blocks in the sky to do this. I'm just going to so I was thinking of just doing that to end off the episode because uh, we've, we've actually done quite a bit this episode. I'm not sure how long the episode is. Okay, 
Okay, I'm just gonna grab this one piece of sand, even though I picked up two. This pattern. I'll hit him with a pickaxe instead. That's not good, is it? Okay, so to make the farm a little bit faster, uh, you just do that. That's all you have to do. And then hopefully I don't release into the cactus, but yeah, my kind of plan is to build like some sort of die, like a die farm because I have in a creative world designed myself a flower farm. It's pretty simple. So basically, you just bone meal grass and then pistons and push the gra grass along. See, there's another piece of cactus. And your pistons just pu push the, gra the grass along. So then when you bone meal it, all the flowers and things pop off and then you can just go up and collect them all. So yeah, we're, we're going to be building that one as well. Unfortunately, it's not AFK at all because I tried. I did try a dispenser. I might do a tutorial on that later this week, and I'm probably going to end up building it around this area room. I'm probably going to build all of it to be honest. And as you can see, this farm is actually working pretty well to be honest. I don't know why we only got two. Yeah, it's actually good question, to be honest. Why we only got two? Another thing that keeps happening is that mobs keep falling on it, and then yeah, all the drops end up going in there. So we might have to sort something out about that. Like maybe put a building around it. But what another thing we need to do is definitely get this grass done. And also, I was kind of thinking something else. We've been, do been doing this the whole, like, mostly this, most of the season. Like, I think it's been about 10, 11 episodes since we came to this area and built our sugar cane farm. So, we have been in this area quite a bit. So, what, I'm, what we're going to do is. So, obviously, we've got the piglin versus parrot war, which seems to be happening. Um. Actually, I wonder if the parrot's still there. I'm not gonna check now, but I might check later if the parrot's like been found or anything. And uh, we're probably they're probably gonna get payback for it, the parrot. So um, let so let us know if it's nothing to do aim for. But anyway, um, we might move our bases to um. I'm not really sure where to be honest. I don't want to go to the maze because that's like twenty thousand bots away. Uh, not really strong at all, that's not a good area. I was thinking there's a plow forest somewhere. That can be our like main base because I mean it's a flat area. It's um a decent colour of grass, like this area. Uh it's nice and flat and we can get loads of flowers as well, which is good for our dye shop. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Next episode we're gonna be stacking up the cactus farm, making it a lot bigger. And um yeah, thanks for watching episode sixteen. I'll see you in episode 17.